Over the past few years, I've noticed a pattern. I've noticed a trend that I really can't understand and I can't really get behind it. It just kind of baffles my ever-loving mind. And that is the fact that it seems the NFL media loves to hate Cam Newton. And I just don't get it. And I want to know why. I don't know, maybe this is something that goes back to his college days at Auburn, the beliefs about him and his family getting paid to go to Auburn, and maybe there's a grudge that's being held against him from that time, and it's carrying over to the NFL and the NFL media. There was a certain narrative set about him going back to 2010, maybe even before that, and that a narrative is allowing people's judgment to be clouded as he plays in the NFL. Maybe it's the fact that he dresses a certain way. Maybe it's the fact that he has an outgoing type of personality and expresses himself a certain type of way that rubs a lot of the middle-aged and older NFL media the wrong way. With that said, I, I just don't get it. I don't see why there seems to be such a double standard for Cam Newton. I don't understand why there appears to be, at least in my perspective, in my mind, in my opinion, so much hate for Cam Newton. To me, he was a wonderfully talented player, a wonderfully talented quarterback that has taken a once worthless, honestly, and meaningless Carolina Panthers organization and made them relevant. He is a star. He is a breath of fresh air to me in many ways. He is a franchise quarterback in the NFL level. And the amount of hate that he gets from the NFL media, the amount of bias against him from the NFL media, just completely astounds me. What would a Cam Newton be able to do if he had Andrew Luck's weapons? What would a Cam Newton be able to do if he had Russell Wilson's superior defense, superior offensive line, and elite running back in Marshawn Lynch? What would we be able to do? Hell, if he was able to sit there and have the weapons that Colin Kaepernick has in San Francisco and Bolden and Crabtree and Vernon Davis and Frank Gore and, again, a superior, far superior offensive line. It's like when it comes to the NFL media, they love to prop up Andrew Luck as the second coming of Jesus Christ at the position. He's the new Peyton Manning. He's the new white poster boy, if you will. And then Russell Wilson is the prototype in the other direction, but still somewhat similar. He's so nice, and he's so well-spoken, and he's so pleasant, and he's a champion, and he conducts and carries himself in a certain classy, humble way, and we like that. Him and Andrew Luck, these guys are great. But Cam Newton, himself a great player, conducts and carries himself in a bit of a different way. And that's a major and significant problem. That's ridiculous to me. So much of the NFL media loves to talk about how the NFL stands for not for fun league and that it's stupid that they ban celebrations and they have gotten rid of individuality and all the other problems with the National Football League. Here's a guy in Cam Newton that has fun playing the game and it shows through. Here's a guy in Cam Newton who has taken his team, mind you, to the playoffs in back-to-back -back seasons. This is a guy in Cam Newton that went to the playoffs again with a 7-8-1 team, found a way to win a playoff game. I don't care what you say about it. The fact of the matter is that if Andrew Luck or Russell Wilson were on the 7-8 and one team and they beat an Arizona Cardinals team in the opening round of the playoffs, everybody would be kissing their asses to kingdom come talking about how Star Spangled fucking awesome they actually are. But Cam Newton does it and we've got to find a way to diminish it. We've got to find a way to take away from it. The fact is, is that I'm surprised Cam Newton's had success at the NFL level to the level that he has had with the lack of help that he has around him, in particular on the offensive side of the ball. Here's a Cam Newton that in 2014 lost his top three receivers from the previous season. He was going into this season with Greg Olson at tight end, two former first-round pick running backs that either can't stay healthy or never produce at a first-round level, and D'Angelo Williams and Jonathan Stewart, and hoping and praying that Kelvin Benjamin, their first-round pick, and a guy like Jericho Cotri were going to be the answer outside at wide receiver. All the while, no Jordan Gross, no Travell Wharton. He's got Byron Bell protecting his fucking blind side. Think about this for a second. And we're expecting Cam Newton to be God. We're expecting Cam Newton to put up these all-pro, all-world numbers. Hell, I'm surprised he had the season that he freaking did. It wasn't his best season. I could maybe argue statistically it might have been his worst season. 
But you could tell that the Carolina Panthers believed in him and that he is a good leader for that team and that they rallied behind them. And he is a guy that can win and win consistently. He's a guy that won a championship at the NCAA level, and I believe someday with the right pieces and the right infrastructure put around him on both sides of the ball can win a championship at the NFL level. But you would never know that from paying attention to the NFL media and the NFL advertising machine. They pump Andrew Luck as the greatest thing since sliced bread. They make Russell Wilson out to be another greatest thing since sliced bread. They love Colin Kaepernick. For what reason? I know not why. He's been a quarterback starting for the past two and a half years and has regressed, not progressed, with a quality offensive mind like a Jim Harbaugh coaching him. Here is a guy that the next time he goes to his second read is going to be the first time that he goes to his second read. And all the while, he's doing that with having Anqua Bolden, Michael Crabtree, Stevie Johnson, Vernon Davis in the passing game, a superior offensive line, and Frank Gore to hand the fucking ball off to. Cam Newton has to go through his progressions. He sees Calvin Benjamin. He sees Greg Olson. And then after that, you've got like undrafted Philly Brown and freaking somebody like Jericho fucking Cotchery. That the Jets didn't want for crying out loud. The Jets! But Cam Newton's such a bad guy. And Cam Newton's not a big-time quarterback. Get the fuck out of here. I don't understand why the NFL media hates this guy so damn much. They will sit there and come up with a million and one excuses for why Peyton Manning plays so poorly in another playoff game where his team loses way earlier than they're supposed to. But a guy like Cam Newton goes into an incredibly difficult situation in Seattle, playing the Seahawks and that great Legion of Boom defense, in particular secondary, filled with all pros in Chancellor Thomas and Richard Sherman, and he's expected to go in there and completely dominate. And when he plays all right, 23 of 36, I think like 240-something yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, we sit there and mock him and talk about how poorly he played and how much he needs to take a step to the next level. You want to see the bias when it comes to Cam Newton in the NFL media. When Andrew Luck in the Broncos game threw two deep interceptions, those were punts. Those weren't that bad. And I agree, if you want to talk about the momentum thing, what have you. In general, I don't think there's anything wrong with occasionally throwing an interception 40 to 50 yards down the field. Because in today's NFL, why would you not take those chances, let's say, in the third and long? You could get a completion and you could get a pass interference penalty. That really changes momentum for you. But when Cam Newton does that, and he throws 40 yards down the field to a Philly Brown with Richard Sherman defending him, it might not be the smartest, greatest decision in the entire world, but what's so different from Andrew Luck fucking doing? He throws an interception, and we're crucifying Cam Newton for it. And then when he throws the big pick that Cam Chancellor pick sixes, we're sitting there and talking about, well, that's why Cam Newton sucks, and he's never going to take that next step. He's not a big-time franchise NFL quarterback. Get the fuck out of here. At that point in time, what other choice did he have to make? Yeah, he made a bad decision. Yeah, he made a poor throw. His receiver didn't help him, and we damn sure know that if Andrew Luck or Russell Wilson was throwing that ball, and even a Colin freaking Kaepernick, the media would be going out of their way to blame an Ed Dixon and say he didn't step into his route, and he didn't come to and attack the ball, and that led to the interception. But when it's Cam Newton, it's totally his bad decision. It's nothing to do with the wide receiver or tight end at all. It's all on his ass. Bad decision, bad throw, bad result for the fucking Carolina Panthers. And never mind the fact that he took a 7-8-1 and one team into Seattle, clearly overmatched, and they stayed in the game far longer than they had any freaking business doing. If an Andrew Luck or a Russell Wilson does that in that type of environment with that type of supporting cast, or especially a Colin Kaepernick, Jesus Christ, we're praising him to no end. And we're creating Twitter hashtags about him and talking about how star-spangled awesome they are. But when Cam Newton does it, ah, oh, it's not that good. There's always something, and I don't get it. And I think the NFL media needs to be called out for this shit. And they need to be taken to task for this shit. Cam Newton is a wonderful quarterback in the National Football League. What I wouldn't give for him to quarterback my Chicago Bears and what so many other fans and organizations and so many other teams wouldn't do to give up a lot to get a guy like Cam Newton to be their freaking quarterback. Whatever bias there is towards Cam Newton needs to end. Whatever shit that is carried over from the college time needs to end. Whatever... Uh, hate there is for what he wears, it needs to end. Whatever dislike there is for him because he's an expressive personality and he's not your traditional white, stoic, boring ass, six foot five, immobile pocket passer, needs to fucking end. The hate on Cam Newton from the NFL media is ridiculous. It's unjustified 
and in my opinion needs to stop now. 